Hi everyone, so today I have this wonderful book for review. This, in my opinion, is a must-have book for botanical artists or anyone who loves uh, art. Uh, but this is a really, really lovely book and it's called Botanical Art uh, Techniques from the American Society of Botanical Artists. And uh, so let's have a look inside. So in here, these are the contents you can see is divided in uh, different parts and there are different um, uh, skills that are described. So graphite, pen and ink, watercolor and, and so on, color pencil as well. And uh, in this book, there are lots and lots of really stunning illustrations by the artists who have uh, contributed. And uh, so it starts from how to cut the flowers, you know, the very basics. Uh, it gives you lots of tips as well on uh, uh, the disposition of your studio. There are different examples of uh, how the studio can be arranged. Of course, this is lovely when you have enough space. <laughs> I, I don't have this the luxury of these big studios, but um, you can uh, work on a smaller table as well. And then give you some uh, basics of botany uh, because um, it's important when you want to be a botanical artist to have some at least some basic knowledge of, of your botany. It helps you to depict the plants uh, better. And then it starts with a drawing. Uh, so how to hold a pencil, even uh, different techniques, uh, different exercises you can do. And, uh, and then the examples as well. So I'm just going through uh, quite quickly. I can't go through the whole book because the book is, is pretty big. <laughs> so just going through quickly. The lovely, beautiful illustrations and uh, examples and tips on how to draw your plants as well. So here it's an in-depth, uh, I think, tutorial of this illustration here, so step-by-steps as well. And then we go on to the pen and ink. So the authors were really good at breaking down uh, the different uh, tutorials here step-by-step step, and they give you uh, lots of uh, information and tips. And, and here again there is another step-by-step. Uh, step. So this is a uh, dissection example as well, which is important when you want to do botanical illustration, like in a sort of serious way. And it gives you information on how to scale your images. So you, you might want to make an image larger or smaller. And then there's also here scientific botanical illustration. So it tells you more about this and uh, the method I use with the uh, tracing paper to make the composition. So if you followed me, you have seen that I do this as well with the tracing paper. You, if you've seen it on, on Instagram, some videos, I show you this. And then we go on to the color, which is what we all love. And again, there are techniques and tutorials. Uh, there is an explanation here of um, uh, color pencil and how to use them. So it covers everything from choosing the right materials to mastering shading and composition. And the instructions are, are pretty good. So there is how to depict texture with color pencils as well burnishing and so on and uh, the illustrations are just beautiful so even, even if you don't do the exercises <laughs> just looking at the illustrations is a treat there's even color pencil on film 
I haven't tried this yet, but maybe one day. And then uh, we have watercolor, which is my favorite way of uh, doing botanical uh, painting. So again, introduction to the medium, examples, and then the different tutors, the, the different artists uh, that uh, explain to you how to uh, step by step how to paint uh, flowers and leaves. This is also very important to master how to, to render the 3D for stems and roots, for example, and branches. So it's a really lovely book. And uh, I, I do take it out the shelf every now and then and just live through. Uh, I haven't done all the exercises in here, I mean, all, you know, the, following the tutorials and things, but um, it's still very interesting and very good to, to read how all the people uh, do this. Oh, that's my bookmark. <laughs> so this lady, she is fantastic. She's called Asuka Ishiki, I think. Hopefully I say that right. And she has a book of her own, which I'm planning to get. And uh, she's um, really incredible. And there's a step-by-step -step here as well of one of her um, tomatoes. She's done quite a few different ones. Uh, this one is fantastic as well. And then we have, of course, the vellum as well. So what we call on vellum, which is very different from uh, paper. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, maybe one day. The vellum is quite expensive. Uh, but um, the results on vellum is so different from from the paper it looks like it's actually like shiny so it's a, it's a beautiful result and then we have a leaf which is uh, always uh, scary for uh, watercolor artist uh, botanical artist to paint leaves at the beginning uh, because um, I think it's because we're so used to seeing green and leaves that we can tell straight away if something is wrong and then uh, it becomes difficult to, to reproduce. So yeah, lots and lots of uh, inspiration. And there are um, also lots of interviews with the botanical artists that have contributed. So these conversations give you a peek into their minds and the creative process as well. So it's very inspiring to hear about their experiences and learn from the journeys. And it's, a, it's like having a backstage pass to the world of botanical art. So just going through. So there's even the etching, etching techniques as well. If you want to try that. There's lots and lots of um, examples and inspiration and it's just a wonderful book to have and to consult uh, every now and then. And there's even paintings uh, with oils, so not everyone knows maybe that you can do botanical painting with uh, with oils, with oil colour. Uh, of course it takes much longer because oil colour takes uh, a while to dry, but uh, they are quite stunning uh, afterwards, the, the results uh, when you use oil color. But it's a technique which you have to study quite a bit to master. And this is gouache as well, so this is also uh, a medium used very often by botanical artists. But I've seen uh, botanical paintings in acrylics as well. So yes, if you want to have a really good book for your library uh, as a botanical artist, then uh, I would advise you to get uh, this book. 
So that's it for today's uh, book review. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more um, videos like this and also for other videos on uh, uh, tips and tricks and color mixing and all sorts of um, things to do with the watercolor and botanical painting. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep embracing your artistic side and stay green. I'll see you in the next video.